Cape Fear River is one of the largest in North Carolina. Its basin covers 27 counties, including Orange County, making it a vital resource to our state, as you could guess. Paris Alston takes us to the river to meet the man whose job it is to protect it. Kent Burdett knows a lot about water. A Wilmington native, he studied coastal geology in college and went to the Navy shortly after. These days, he's known as the Cape Fear River Keeper. My job is to be the voice of the Cape Fear River. Uh, so, you know, the river can't go to a county commissioner meeting and speak up and say, hey, uh, we really need to pass better zoning laws that help protect me. So I do that. Burdett is one of several river keepers sprinkled throughout North Carolina. His job is supported by the Cape Fear River Watch, an organization that protects and improves the river's water quality through education, advocacy, and action. The North Carolina General, General Assembly is passing laws that are extremely dangerous to the environment. Senator Valerie Fushi, a member of the Committee for Agriculture, Environment, and Natural Resources, issued the following statement. The legislature over the last five years or so has enacted legislation that has weakened our ability to protect both air and water resources. Burdett is big on educating people about the river by showing it to them. He says the river isn't just for him. The Cape Fear River is, is the people's river. It's, the river doesn't belong to the state government. It doesn't belong to the federal government. It doesn't belong to corporations or counties. It belongs to the people of North Carolina. And that includes you. From the Cape Fear River in Wilmington, I'm Paris Alston reporting. There are also river keepers close to Chapel Hill one for the Upper Neuse River in Raleigh and one for the Lower Haw River in Benham. 